And now, the Beakford Corporation, makers of quality tree sap extractors since 2015. The only tree sap extractor you'll ever need proudly presents tonight's presentation of Dr. Francis Stein, Mad Domestic Scientist. This is the story of Dr. Francis Stein, a housewife by day and a mad scientist by midday. As today's episode begins, Francis is sending her husband Harold and their two children, Bobby and Sally, off to work and school. Goodbye, Bobby. Goodbye, Sally. Goodbye, Mommy. Goodbye, Mommy. Have a good day at school, children. Learn things. And I shall be off as well, my dear Francis. Oh, of course, Harold. But before I go, I must say what a smashing job you have done in the laundering of my shirt. It's quite worthy of laud and praise, my dear. Why, thank you, dear husband. How kind of you to notice. And before I depart, I shall love to give you a peck upon the cheek. Have a good day as a quantity surveyor, my dear. Quantify those surveys. And so, with her husband and children lovingly and affectionately sent off to work and school, Frances Stein retires to her hidden sewing room, which she has, unbeknownst to her family, secretly converted into a laboratory. Shedding her apron and donning her lab coat, she is joined by her faithful lackey assistant Boris, and she becomes Dr. Francis Stein, mad domestic scientist. Boris, my dedicated and loyal minion, where are you? I'm right here, Doctor. And tell me, oh great and powerful one, what mad domestic scientific experiment would you be working on today? I'm glad you asked. Do you see this? Why, of course, good doctor. It looks like a box of the leading brand of laundry detergent. Yes. And do you see what this is written here? Why, certainly, doctor. It says, new and improved. Yes, and that represents a big problem. Oh, it does? Uh, now, I know that I am totally inferior to you and your great mind, Doctor, but I fear I don't see what this big problem could be. Boris, you mindless thing without a mind. Did you not hear the comment my dear husband Harold made this very morning concerning the laundering of his shirt? He said I did a splendid job. A splendid job! Merely a splendid job. My work on his shirt should have elicited a higher caliber additive than merely smashing. Oh, but he did add that your efforts were worthy of laud and praise. Yes, simple laud and praise. What of acclaim and adoration. I will not rest until my laundering rises to the level of perfection. Where housewives from around the world housing development crowd at my door lining up in the hopes of getting a glimpse of my skill in the laundering arts. Well, certainly some comfort can be drawn from the declaration by the laundry detergent manufacturers that they are continually working to improve their products. Oh, their dedication to that end is surely reassuring. Oh, but I fear it is not. Consider that for years now they've been working to improve their products. Liquids instead of granules, granules instead of liquids, adding bleach and bleach-like substitutes and softeners and whatnot. Detergents that are effective in both hot and cold water. But yet, despite their efforts, there's always room for them to do more. They have tried and yet continually fail to produce the perfect laundry detergent. And why do you suppose that is, Doctor? The answer, my aspiring lackey, is that they have not had the right mind to work on the problem. But that day has come to an end. Now I, Dr. Francis Stein, mad domestic scientist, have decided to devote my genius and skill to the monumental task of improving laundry detergent to the point where no other improvements will be necessary or possible. Oh, bravo, Doctor, bravo! I applaud your greatness. And now, my submissive underling, let us get to work. And so, Dr. Francis Stein, aided by her faithful servant, Boris, set off to work on her task. She experimented with different forms of detergents. 
powder will be able to work its way into the tiny microscopic pores of my clothes, making them superior to granules. Of course, Doctor. I can sharpen the corners of each speck of powder so that they will be able to dig into those nasty dirt and grass stains. Pure genius, Doctor. Pure genius. And I will now increase the dosage of each cleaning chemical, each fabric softener, each bleach and enzyme. I will add hyper-optical brighteners. I will be relentless with polymers and fillers. Well, that is wonderful, Doctor. I am getting goosebumps just being in the presence of your brilliance. It's either that or the ammonium sulfate you've got your hand in. Most likely, it's a combination of both. Soon, Dr. Frances Stein completed her work and sat back to enjoy her accomplishment. Eureka! I have done it! I've done it! I've improved laundry detergent beyond the point where any future improvements need to be made. Oh, congratulations, my highly exalted superior. Uh, may I say that your genius knows no bounds? Yes, you may, my submissive slave. In fact, you may say it again. Of course, Doctor. Uh, your genius knows no bounds. And what about the part about me being your highly exalted superior? Oh, of course, Doctor. You are superior to me in every way, and I exalt that difference very highly, yes. This experiment has been groundbreaking. I've made history. Housewives all throughout the world will be singing my praises. Now all I need to do is put in a load of laundry to prove the success of my work beyond any doubt. And shall I prepare the washing machine, good Doctor? Yes, Boris. Oh, but wait. I did the laundry yesterday. Surprisingly... No one here has soiled or sullied anything that needs to be washed. Oh, does this mean we shall have to wait until next week to prove the success of your work beyond any doubt? I fear so. Oh no, wait. I have it. Boris, you are quite dirty and filthy. In fact, you look like you spent the night in a bed of soot. Well, that's easily explained, Doctor. Uh, I spent the night in a bed of soot. Then this will work out perfectly. I shall test my improved beyond the need for future improvement laundry detergent on you. Oh, but Doctor, I don't... Stop talking and get into that washing machine. And you may wipe away any fears or concerns you have with the realization that you will come forth a mere wash load later as a clean, fresh, and fragrant inferior minion. Oh, but doctor, are you sure- Stop talking, you... Boris, my self-proclaimed inferior. Get into the washing machine. We have history to make. <laughs> 